Usually you were you would be working with this little guy here block and this is a speaker in here. And you see that you have, you know, you have options, you have controllers, but actually, you know, I, I picked Malcolm in there and, you know, you already have a lot more controllers in there. That doesn't mean that you have all of these controllers and you have to use them. It's not because you have them, but you have to use them, okay? That's really, really important. We don't use all of these controllers if we don't need them. I like, I like the block characters because they're pretty simple. And actually, if you look at the main controllers, so the body, the spine, and, you know, the FK arms and then the IK legs and all that, it's exactly the same here, pretty much. You have the, the body, you have the, the spine here, you have the head. You know, I don't care about all these extra, you know, purple controllers in there. I don't care about them. I don't, I don't use them if I don't need to. And that's really important for you guys to, to remember, to realize that it's not because they are here that you have to use them. You want to use as few controllers as possible. Because if you use fewer controllers, you will know which one you used. So it's going to be easier for you to control your animation. And then in polishing, you're going to have less controllers to polish. So if you don't need to have all of these, then don't use them. You know, just keep it to the bare minimum. Something that's very, very important to know is that when we start a movie, when we start working on the movie, we don't open the rig and animate straight away. We don't go in there and animate on the shot right away because we don't know the character again. We need to know the character. We need to know how it works. So the first thing we do pretty much is play with it. So we, we would just select and, and see how it works in here, how it deforms, you know, with the spine kind of rotation I can get from it, you know, what, what looks good, what doesn't, and really just play with, play with the character a little bit and see how it goes, you know, see how it deforms, see what looks good. So I'm going to uh, get rid of those not kind of curves in here. I'm going to go on the other side. There we go, and polygons. And just kind of look at what looks good on them. You know, just, okay, I can do this, I can do that. You know, I can, I can have fun with this. The, the thing is, I'm not going to keep any of this. I'm really just thinking about what it's going to look like. And you can see here, you know, when I bend the arm, I'm losing a little bit of the volume of the elbow. I don't really like that. So I, I know that if I have to rotate my arm at some point, I will need to pay attention not to show it to the camera. Just play with your character. Just see how it deforms. See which controllers are going to be useful and which are not going to be useful. Again, you know, you don't want to use these, you know, because... Maybe you're not going to use them. Maybe, maybe in polishing you're going to use them, but now you don't. So don't play with those. You know, you just leave them away. So you know you're gonna gonna have a little bit of fun with these. You're gonna select all of these and see. You know, this one can be interesting because you know that's only the hips, pretty much. So that's that, that's the kind of stuff that you want to keep in mind. And then of course, same thing. You know for for the face and all that, you know, you want to look at what kind of profile you're going to, to be using, you know, full, full is good. How much can you turn until it, it looks bad? Usually I like to keep the, the facial visible. So if he has an expression here, you know, I can see his eyebrow in here with that kind of uh, hair. I, that's the only eyebrow I can see. I can still clearly see his, his mouth here. If I turn more than this, you know, see here, for instance, that doesn't really look good because, you know, first it feels weird that his eyes here feels a little isolated. I won't be able to really read his eyebrow and I only get to read half of his mouth. So that's the kind of stuff that I would never do. I would kind of keep it there somewhere. You know, and if he has to look on the side there, then uh, I would make sure that his eyes are just going you know, to the side here and just going really something more like this in there okay so play with play with your rig okay just get to know your rig that's going to be very important if you have to modify your rig at this point you know to make it shorter taller different shirt that's also the kind of moment where i would start thinking about it you know okay 
I have my story. What do I need to change to my character to make it look even more sincere and more like he is that character? That would be the moment in there to to play with that. And I I really feel it's part of you know the the beginning of what you're going to to be doing with your character is to get to know him. And that's the first encounter, pretty much, how he moves, technically, and then after that. Once you know, you know, what's possible with a character, what looks good with a character, what doesn't look good with a character, then I would be able to start thinking about my story and to, to, to be confident that if I have a good idea, that I'm going to be able to do it with the character that I have. And that's why, you know, if, you, if you're taking Malcolm, you know, you have it there, but you have, you have very different designs with other characters there. So, you know, your design is going to limit yourself also with the, the kind of story that you, you want to do. I would say a mistake that is, is done a lot is to, you know, animate straight away with a character that you don't know. Just take a little bit of time to play with it. And once you feel that you, you're more comfortable, that you know the limitations, then you can go and plan and go further. Really, the, the idea here, you know, you have a lot more controllers, but don't pay attention to all these really focus on the body focus on the spine in here the head the neck and then the arms the shoulders in here and then the ik for the for the legs the pivot point for the legs that's pretty much all you need you know for for the, the bigger controllers all the rest is going to be adjustment so the thing that you move very finely in the end to make it look even better but when you're starting, you don't need all that. Everything starts with a good line of action and a good line of action starts with the center of gravity or here, the body that's moved. So you're going to move your body in here so that we start with weight on one leg more than the other. And then we're going to rotate a little bit of that in here rotate a little bit and then here just to start you know bringing more complexity to the character so that's the first thing i do with all the characters you know that i have i'm starting with a little bit of weight on my hips and then from there of course i build the whole pose but that's going to be for the next lesson pretty much <laughs> it's just a little teaser <laughs>